Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Winnie and in this video I will be sharing with you what my kids eat in a day. It usually consists of breakfast, smoothie, lunch, dinner and a dessert. So let's get started. For breakfast, I am making slow cooker oatmeal which is done the previous night. As you can see, I gave the slow cooker a spray. Then I'm going to add one cup of still cut oats, one can of coconut milk, two and a half cups of water, a pinch of salt, give this a stir, then I'm going to add two cinnamon sticks. Then I'm going to close the lid and cook this for eight hours on low. You can also cook this on high for three to four hours. So in the morning, I just washed some peaches and I'm going to slice them thinly. Now into a pan, you're going to add a quarter cup of butter and let this melt. Then you're going to add a third cup of maple syrup. Then add your peaches and add about one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. You're going to cook this for about seven to 10 minutes until the peach slices have softened. Then you're going to remove from heat and stir in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and give this another stir. By now the oatmeal is done, I'm just going to remove the lid and take out the cinnamon sticks, give it a stir, then I'm going to add some vanilla extract and some cinnamon, give it another stir and now we are ready to plate our breakfast. Slow cooker oatmeal is so convenient and my kids really like the texture and it's so easy because in the morning everything should be done and you can add whatever toppings that you like and you can also add whatever milk that you want, it doesn't have to be coconut milk. And now I'm just going to add the peach foster, a little drizzle of milk and some granola to give it a crunch and this is their breakfast. For lunch I am making baked chicken taquitos. Here I'm just making salsa. I actually made this the previous day and I didn't write it down so let me see if I can remember this. So there's 28 ounce whole peel tomatoes and I drained the juice, two cans of rotel, some cilantro, red onion, lime juice, garlic powder, jalapenos, about a teaspoon of salt and we're just going to pulse this until it reaches your desired consistencies and I also added some black pepper. And I also drained the juice for the tomatoes and this is the consistency that I like. For the chicken taquitos, here I have three cups of shredded rotisserie chicken, four ounces of cream cheese, one cup of Mexican blended cheese, a third cup of the salsa we just made, and one teaspoon each of salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, chili powder, cumin, and dried oregano, so essentially taco seasoning. And feel free to add more salsa in there if you like. Once it is all evenly combined, we're going to take about two tablespoons of the mixture into a tortilla shell. It helps if you warm the tortilla shell first so it can be more pliable. And you're just going to roll it tightly and brush the end with some oil. And make sure that you preheat your oven to 375 degrees and grease a casserole dish. And now you're just going to repeat the process for the remainder of the fillings. And now you're just going to brush the top with some oil and bake for about 20 to 25 minutes or until brown. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and make some guacamole. I actually decided to do this at the very last minute. To the avocados, I'm going to add some red onions, some chopped tomatoes, cilantro, lime juice. I also added seeded jalapeno peppers in there. It's not spicy and one teaspoon of salt, some pepper, and we're just going to mash it all up. To serve, here I have some shredded lettuce and I'm just going to put the taquitos right on top. Then I'm going to add the salsa, the avocado, and some sour cream. Next time, I prefer frying it. It isn't as crispy as I want it to be and I probably will put just the salsa and avocado to the side. But this was pretty good and here's our lunch and this was for the whole family. So in the afternoon, I made them their smoothies. Here I have one cup of coconut water, one navel orange that I cut into wedges, three quarter cups of frozen cauliflower, one cooked beet, one packet of frozen dragon fruit, one cup of frozen pineapple, one date that I soaked in warm water, and one teaspoon of bee pollen, that is optional. And now I'm just going to put the lid on there and blend it until smooth. And you can also add more coconut water in there or just plain water if you don't want it as thick. For dinner, I am making Hawaiian loco moco. I haven't made this in so long and I forgot how much I love this meal. So essentially, it's just hamburger with gravy 
And here I have two pounds of ground beef, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, a few drops of liquid smoke, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and we're just going to mix it all up and I'm going to divide this into six equal balls. And now I'm going to form them into patties and I am going to season both sides with salt and pepper. And now I'm just going to heat a cast iron skillet and cook the patties for about four minutes on each side. So they won't be done, but it will finish cooking in the gravy. And you're just going to make sure that you cook them in batches to ensure proper searing. Remove them onto a plate and you're going to do the other three patties. Once you are done searing all the patties, add about a tablespoon of butter and add the onion slices. You're going to cook this for about 10 minutes on low heat until they start to caramelize a bit. If you have more time, go ahead and cook it longer. After that, you're going to add some mushrooms and cook for another five minutes. Then add some minced garlic and cook for another minute. And now we're just going to melt three tablespoons of butter into the center of the skillet and then add the flour. Stir this around to make sure the flour mixture has coated the veggies. After about a minute, you're going to add some broth. Let this simmer until thicken for about five minutes. And then you just wanna make sure that you season it with some soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and some black pepper. And if you need to add more broth, if it gets a little too thick, go ahead and add that. And here I'm just adding some umami seasoning. This is optional. And now you can go ahead and add the patties back into the skillet. I'm just going to go ahead and add all six of them. Make sure that you spoon some of the gravy over the patties and cook until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees. In the meantime, go ahead and fry your eggs to your liking. This one was for me. As you can see, I don't flip my eggs. I like it runny. And now that the burger is done, you're just going to remove it onto a plate, add about a tablespoon of cold butter in there, and then we are ready to eat. To serve, I'm just going to place some rice on a plate, top with one hamburger patty, gravy, and then the fried egg, and we're going to garnish this with green onion. These are my kids' plates. I like my eggs a little runny, and look at that. This was so delicious. I hope you guys give this one a try. For dessert, I am making blueberry cobbler. So I saw this recipe in a magazine at the grocery store while I was waiting in line. I believe the magazine is called Centennial Kitchen or something like that. I took a mental note and I tried to recreate it at home and I think I got it down. I love these little challenges where I can read a recipe in a magazine and see if I can recreate it at home by memorizing it. So this recipe is actually pretty simple and you probably already have the ingredients at your house. I'm going to go ahead and write the recipe in the description box along with all the other recipes that you see in this video. Keep in mind though, this one won't be in my blog because it's technically not my recipe. Blueberry cobbler, it just looks like you put so much work and it looks so good, um, but it's actually pretty easy to make. It took me maybe 10 to 15 minutes to make the batter and then it took like 20 minutes to cook it. So we ate our dessert pretty late because we were just going to eat our ice cream, but I thought, you know what? I have to try to make this blueberry cobbler. So once it is done, we let it cool off a little bit and then we added some ice cream on top and that is it. This was so good. And that is it guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.